Greetings, physical therapy students. Welcome to our diabetes education channel. So after our video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. So today we're treating Mr. Henry Levy. He's a 78 year old male. He's a retired electrician and was diagnosed with type two diabetes 13 years ago when he was 65. Some things he likes to do for fun is taking long walks in Queens Boulevard and going to synagogue. So here he comes. So as you can see, he's a little bit limited in his balance and ambulates with straight cane. So let's have a seat on here. His upper extremity and lower extremity strength is within normal limits, but let's take a look at his ankles specifically. Yeah, that feels pretty strong. Let's look at your left side. You got a little bit of a, a wound over here too. Yeah. All right. All right. Pretty weak on the on the left side in his MMTs. An MMT. Funny you should ask. An MMT is a manual muscle test, and it's used to test strength for different different joints in the in the body. So on. Mr. Levy's left foot, um, we're giving him a three minus for his dorsiflexion strength. Part of our PT treatment, we want to help Mr. Levy get back to taking long walks, going back to the synagogue, and helping him take care of his, uh, his ulcer on, a, on his foot and managing his diabetes. <laughs> Funny, you should ask. Diabetes mellitus is a chronic endocrine disorder that affects the way that the body metabolizes glucose, or sugar, which is a major source of fuel for the body. Symptoms of diabetes include polydipsia, or excessive thirst, polyuria, excessive urination, excessive hunger, slow healing sores, fatigue, blurred vision, and frequent infections. Diabetes is um, confirmed with a diagnosis through fasting glucose levels of greater than 125 milligrams of sugar in the blood, a two-hour oral glucose level level over 200 and HbA1c greater than 6.5%. What's HbA1c? <laughs> Wait till Clint bed. <laughs> Do you remember? Okay. Actually, it's the three month average of uh, sugar bonded to hemoglobin, Hb is hemoglobin, um, in the blood. So there's multiple systems in the body that are affected with diabetes. The endocrine system, um, because insulin is a hormone secreted by the pancreas, and it, the body is either resistant to insulin or um, doesn't produce enough insulin, causing the increase in blood sugar. The cardiovascular system is affected as people with diabetes are at an increased risk of um, heart disease, sclerotic uh, vessels, which is hardening of the blood vessels, um, and the left ventricle is decreased in size. The renal system um, is affected as the glomerulus, or the functional unit of the kidney, uh, becomes sclerotic or hardened so that there's less blood flow through the kidney. Then the body responds by secreting a hormone, part of the endocrine system, to increase blood pressure. This places a higher demand on the heart. And um, the symptoms that you'll see with this include polyuria, and um, excessive drinking and urination. Um, the nervous system is affected as with prolonged elevated levels of sugar and triglycerides in the blood, the nerves, the peripheral nerves become damaged and desensitized so that um, people with diabetes oftentimes have decreased sensitive, uh, sensitivity in the extremities of the hands and the feet and they're at an increased risk of developing wounds, and those wounds are slower healing, wounds being part of the integumentary system. So, as you can see, multiple systems are affected. They all have uh, effects on each other. And Nicole's gonna talk more about the integumentary system. So now we're gonna talk a little bit more about Mr. Levy's integumentary system and his diabetic ulcer. Um, currently, Mr. Levy is presenting with an ulcer on the left, left foot, um, at his fifth metatarsal. Um, if you can see, there's a white area around the ulcer, that's just the callus area, and the ulcer itself is measuring is two centimeters by three centimeters. The ulcer does not have any exudate, no smell coming from it, 
It's shallow, there's no tunneling, but you can see that it is a little bit pink, but the area is dry. Mr. Levy is also presenting with a callus under the base of his fifth first metatarsal head. Um, it's just a little bit of a white area, just an area we should be conscious about when we are going into treatment. Also presenting with thickening and discoloration of his um, toenail on his hallux. Um, and Mr. Levy is also having some trophic changes in his foot, um, such as decreased sweating, decreased hair growth, and the area is very dry. Uh, thank you for tuning in to hear about my story, and uh, follow me on Instagram.